Catholics rush in to try to put out a fire which broke out inside the Immaculate Conception Parish in Marlboro overnight in the icy conditions. WBZ's Tashani Whitlow is live in Marlboro tonight on what they did. They were quick to get there. Absolutely, they were, Dave. Those two priests immediately jumped into action trying to put those flames out, but they were overcome by smoke and heat. Well, first was the heat of the fire and the smoke that were choking us. And then when we heard the fire fighters arriving at the scene, then we went out to grab them. Clergy are calling it a miracle that their church is still standing after a fire destroyed a room off the sanctuary last night. A lot of storage for our vestments, where all the things for the mass would be, uh, the hosts, wine, there's also all the um, sound equipment and also the electrical equipment is also there. Two priests were watching the Patriots game when they received a call from the church's alarm service. Did you so, think it was a mistake when, you, when they called you? We thought it could be because there is, you know, could be always an animal or anything else. So we rushed here to see what happened. Both Father Felipucci and Clements tried to get into this room from two different angles. They tried for about eight minutes, but they were overcome by smoke and that blaze. They retreated outside where they were met by firefighters. I mean, obviously, you know, the, the cold weather adds a uh, another level to the fire, but luckily we uh, we had no water issues and uh, the crews knocked the fire down real quick, uh, real quick and they did a, uh, a great job doing it. The priests now thanking Marlboro, Hudson and Northboro firefighters and God for saving their church. They were able to diminish all the damage that happened. So it was really a great job from them and also from God protecting, you know, from this fire, from hurting anyone or even destroying our church. How much the church has been receiving an outpouring of support from community members and fellow clergy, including Cardinal Sean O'Malley, who called to give his condolences. Now, despite thousands of dollars in damage, the church remains hopeful that they'll be able to host Sunday Mass by the end of the week. Reporting live in Marlboro, Tishani Whitlow, WBZ News.